Hello there, YouTube. It's Victor. Give me a brick, man. Give me a flick, man. King of the morons. Godfather J Vlogging here with another J News. This is kind of an update to the last video because I made a mistake and I, I was uh, if you saw the last video, it's a good video. I'm all, I'm out walking around in Os Cannon with Carlos, uh, Tomoko, and Regan, but there was a sound problem and there was a couple words that I didn't say that I wanted to say. So I want to take advantage of this uh, this new video format to to redo the last video and give you a little more information about that now as you can see by the picture on your i think it's on your left you know the the, the part of the video that's not me we see the uh the man named oto takehiro tada and he was born with a special condition which i've already forgotten the name but uh it's a uh, it's a hereditary condition where you're born without arms and legs and uh, despite this, he overcame, you know, amazing, amazing odds and his condition to become a successful writer, very inspirational writer. Uh, he's also an actor. I th he also became a school teacher and then wrote, I think, another book about that and then acted, I believe, in the in the movie based on his book, <laughs> something called Sangumi Daijobu, like, is, is my class going to be OK? I think uh, and some of this information may not be correct, but I think. I believe that he taught a school a bunch of uh, kids who were ochi kobore, which means they were they were kind of left behind. The kids who couldn't who couldn't keep up with the other kids at school, so he you know stepped in and helped them out. And anyway, he's a pretty inspirational guy. Uh, he had a kid about eight years ago, and it was recently reported in one of the weekly um, kind of scandal mags. Like you know, we they have their own um, rags here in Japan. Uh, not as bad as National Enquirer, but anyway, one of those reported that he has had five affairs or, or he's, he's been cheating on his wife. And this is the, the scandal. Anyway, he admits to adulterous affairs. <laughs> um, so I thought I would give you some information about this guy because as, as, you, as you could tell by the last video, I was talking to a friend, Carlos, who saw this on the news and he had no idea what it was about. So I'm going to go through this again. And just one more time, his name is, uh, I'll blow this up so everyone can see. And we'll go through this vocabulary again. And I've, I've added some vocabulary that's a little bit more useful, I think. Uh, the last video I did on the street, uh, so kind of Russian, I actually even made a mistake, believe it or not. So the guy's name is Ototake Hirotada, and he's a bunpitsuka. Uh, a, shotse, a shosetsuka would be a, a novelist, but he's a bunpitsuka, a writer. The kanji's here, uh, just out of your... You might be curious in the kanji, the way that some of the kanjis mean. I don't remember what all the kanjis mean. This, these are pretty simple. Huh? This is a sentence. Uh, this, the second kanji here is pen. And third is ka, which means writer. And sometimes ka is added to a word to indicate that it is a person. Although it actually, the kanji actually means house. Anyway, he lives in Tokyo to, a Tokyo metropolitan area, in specifically in Shinjuku. Or he's, he's, I'm sorry, he's from there. I don't know where he lives. And this is what we refer to as his shushin, which is what you tag on to your, uh, to where you're from, and it indicates that you are from that area. So, for example, if I want to say I'm, uh, I'm, I'm from New York, I would, I would say New York shushin. Okay. Now, where you're born is different, because I was born actually in Peru. Though I spent only one year there. I would, I guess, say Peru, Peru, no, Peru, umare. Umare, I was born in Peru. And I'll give you a little, we'll, we'll do this live. We'll do it live, we'll do it live. Uh, where's Umare? Whoops, Umare. Hmm? I'm typing, typing wrong here. Try the Umare, okay, there we go. That would be, that would indicate that you, that's where you were from, um, born. Anyway, uh, now his situation is, he has, it's not actually hereditary. I made a mistake here. Well, is it Ten Sensei? Sentence. I want to say ten sense. That's a mistake I made like last time. Sentence. Sen means before. Ten means from heaven or the sky. Well, for heaven. And then say indicates. Um, it's added to indicate a flavor or uh, a condition, right? Um, hmm. Let's see. Now, I was under the impression that someone sent me that. Some joker. Uh, that sentence was. Hereditary, but actually, he didn't think he's hereditary. I think this means it comes, you were born with it. So more, it's more like umaritsuki, but congenital, huh? Yeah, you know what? Here's the thing. It's not the same. That, that's, I was wrong in the English. Yeah, that's the problem here. So, 
something that you're born with is not necessarily hereditary. You might just be born with it. So that's what this is. This is sentence. Now, the other word that I referred to is eden, eden tiki. No. Okay. And that's an adjective. I said, I mentioned this in the last uh, video and that's hereditary. Okay. That's hereditary. Um, we'll get, we'll get to some other words in a, in, in a second. Okay. Now the other, the other, the, his condition is called sentence shishi uh, setsudan. Okay. So actually his actual condition, let's go, let's go, go up here, make some space here. I'll retype it for you. Sentence. Yes. Sentence. Shishi. And then what was the last part of that? I've already forgotten. Uh, oh yeah. Setsudan. So this is uh, his actual situation or his physical condition and I don't think they don't they don't even have it on in uh, on the internet here like in the, in the Japanese dictionary ego de let me see ego de let's see if we can find the English it's it's one of these uh, congenital dismemberment oh my god really so according to this dictionary congenital dismemberment but I have a feeling that's not actually what we say I'm sure that's not correct. It can't be uh, congenital dismemberment. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm sure there's another way. I have forgotten that situation, that uh, condition. Uh, let's see. Okay. I know how to do it. Ototake. He was born with, yeah, Tetra Amelia syndrome. So I suppose that's how you refer to Tetra Amelia syndrome. But of course, I'm not sure. And also, it's it's a word that come on, we don't even know in English. Like, you guys know what that is? Let's see. Is it in the dictionary? No, it's not even in the dictionary here. So, and this dictionary is pretty good. Tetraamelia syndrome. Uh, what about just tetraamelia? Nothing. Let's see if we can find. Oh, okay, we do have something. And it says mushishibio, which means literally. Tetra Amelia literally means you you are born with no uh, no limbs. Okay, so according to the dictionary, this is the this is how we say Tetra Amelia, and you can see the first kanji means nothing, right? You see this first kanji there. It means mu, and this is shishi, which is limbs, and bio means a bio condition or a sickness. So. I haven't looked that up, but I imagine, I'm, pr I'm pretty confident it's probably pronounced this way. Mushishibyo, Tetra Amelia. So let's go backwards here. So you can, this is the way we, I would <laughs> lay it out for you. Okay. So Tetra, mm, Tetra Amelia, and then Syndrome. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, so he has this uh, situation, this condition. And uh, another way to say something's actually hereditary would be Identikina. So that's actually how we would say hereditary. And another way is this expression and that's umaritsuki so when someone has an, uh, they're born with something we would say umare over here tsuki in japanese okay now if you of course these are difficult this is difficult japanese so if you're just starting starting out and you just want to get your message across you would say ude ude or ashi like referring to your legs arms of course ude and ashi are legs uh, the other part of that that sickness is setsudan, which I did mention in the last video. Setsudan, setsudan is amputation, and if you want to say amputate, you would just add sudu to it, so setsudan sudu. Now, as I said in the last video, uh, I often make a joke if someone cuts, uh, breaks a nail or scratches their arm or leg or hurts something, I often joke, oh, we're going to have to amputate. And I say setsudan shinakucha, shinakucha. So adding this to setsudan would indicate, oh, we're going to have to amputate. This is a casual way. Whoops. Setsudan shinakucha. And that would be the casual to say, we're going to have to operate to amputate your legs or your arms, whatever it is. Okay. Now the word handicap in Japanese is shogai. Should we blow this up a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit more? 
障害、障害あり、he has a handicap あります。And we also refer to the new word. Well, not, a, not necessarily a new word, but not a word that I knew could be used this way. But when you are using someone to cover up something, right, we refer to that as a dummy. So, on their, this, this guy who cheated on his wife, he would take his lover, he took his lover to、uh, Tunisia and Paris. And、um, he also brought along another guy to kind of cover for their affair. So, no one would suspect that he was actually sleeping with his assistant. Anyway. Okay, so he referred to him as a dummy.、Uh, and, the, and, the, and the joke that he made when he was accused of this is like, hey, how could I do that? I don't have hands. So, te o d a s e n a i I can't put out my hand. Te o d a s alone means to reach out and either cause violence or make a pass at someone. So, te o d a s e n a i I cannot. Te o d a s e n a i Te. Whoops. O d a s e n a i Means I cannot. Unab unable to, can't、um, make a pass, I guess in this case. Make a pass at someone. Now, of course, if you want to, if we want to refer to,、uh, if you want to talk about the,、um, the, this guy's situation and you can't remember the difficult、uh, Japanese, very easy Japanese would simply say he has no arms or he has no legs. Ude ga nai or ashi ga nai. Ude, of course, is arm. Ga nai means I don't have it. And ashi ga nai, I have no legs. Just adding Ganai to something means I don't have it. So if you want to say I don't have money, I would say Okane Ganai. Right? Okane, let's do this. Ganai. Okane Ganai. I have no money. Okay, that's your lesson there. Now, one other word I want to point out to you that's kind of useful, I suppose, is the word Onatarashi. And onatarashi is what the word we use to refer to someone who is a womanizer. And even though this guy has no legs and no arms, we could say, well, he's a womanizer. He had five girlfriends.、Uh, ashi ga nai, ashi to, ashi to te. No, let's say, ude to ashi ga nai no ni. Even though he doesn't have arms and legs, onatarashi desu. Well, ona, yeah, kare, ho, kare wa onatarashi desu ne. So. I, I suppose it's kind of,、uh, it's not fair for me to assume that people who are handicapped cannot be equally,、uh, per, uh, what, moralist, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> not capable of such things. We should give him the credit, the, the benefit of, of the doubt that even though he has no arms and legs, he's quite capable of being a scumbag, a perv,、uh, like any other guy. <laughs>、uh, there's, your, there's your lesson for, for today.、Uh, new words that appeared in this lesson that I want you to, that I think are very useful are the umaretsuki. Expression. When so, let's go back to that. I might escape this one. Natural born, right?、Uh, identiki, which I didn't explain in the last one. Hereditary, which is a little bit different from congenital. Senden,、uh, sentense. Yes, sentense, which was in the last video. And which I did goof up. I said ten sense, so I do apologize. The pressures of trying to blog with a camera outside. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it、uh, regarding this. This thing. I do have some extra fun, hold on, where is it? Extra fun information about you. So, about him. There's an article here. There's an article here. Phone call, I'm busy now.、Uh, from on the Japan Times about this, which I will link in the description. And I found, some Jap I found a Japanese Wikipedia page on him, which I went through and actually, I actually studied some of the Japanese on here. And that's some of the Japanese that I gave you is from the Wikipedia page. And I also found a page that apparently has pictures of all the girls that he's cheated with, and even some more. So these are apparently the women that he has had affairs with.、Uh, it's on the internet, you know. You can't really see,、uh, right, very well, but. These are, the, these are the ones. This is the, this is the,、uh, the hottest pick. <laughs> very, very pretty girls, all of them.、Uh, I guess, you know, I, I don't know how to explain this、uh, except to say that I guess he has a quite, he's quite a da dashing personality. And, and he did apologize for it. He did say that what he did cannot be, there's nothing he can do.、Uh, re, you know, he, there's nothing he can do、uh, to apologize or to make up for this, except in the, I think he said in this life. Which made it sound to me like he was contemplating suicide, which I really doubt. And the other, the other、uh, sad thing about this is that his wife felt compelled to apologize for his lapse in judgment, let's say. Okay, there's your video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon with another one. I'm going to try this new format. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something out of it. It's easier for me to make. 
Uh, and I can make these videos quite quickly if we do it this way. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. And remember to support the video. Thumb it up if you, if you got something out of it. Or leave your comments in the description uh, regarding anything in the video. Or if I made a mistake again, please put it in the description. Uh, comments. Yeah, thanks. Bye.